This most recent static fire of our liquid rocket engine was pretty exciting. Uh, we had some really cool blue flames come out of this engine before it <laughs> fell off of the atomizer. Um, but I'll show you kind of what was going on different this static fire. First off, we put this uh, different nozzle um, here at the air intake so that we can hook up to our compressed air and then kind of regulate or ease into um, it rather than just all at once. This is one of our printed engine chambers. It has a one inch diameter um, and this is our favorite atomizer. It's our 10th edition. You can see both of them have suffered quite a lot from the heat, um, which is exciting because we've never actually really had heat for this long. Um, you can definitely tell that there was fire shooting off in one direction, not just from the footage, but also um, where the burn marks are. We've used this chamber before, um, but this time we really brought up the pressure. It was at 17 and a half PSI rather than around five what we were doing before. Um, also, it came off. Um, I guess there's two reasons that this could have happened. Um, well, it's only hot glued on there um, for this test, so it's not very strong. If we did have a lot of pressure inside the chamber, it could have popped off easily. Also, the chamber is actually still warm couldn't even touch it when it had first fallen off. So I'm sure that would have weakened the glue significantly. Recently, we've been doing a lot of experimentation with plastic parts instead of metal. They're a lot faster to make, um, but now that we are getting more heat than we've gotten, uh, we might start going back to metal, at least for the atomizer, um, and maybe a few metal parts here on the chamber that'll allow us to have some longer burn times. One inch also does seem like a pretty large nozzle, probably too large. Um, that'll probably get a little smaller, maybe three-quarter. Um, we've tried half, and we're not quite sure um, what the best size is, but uh, maybe smaller. And then also possibly longer, um, maybe to give the gases a little more time inside the chamber. Uh, that'll probably happen in our next revision. We saw a significant amount of blue flame, you know, maybe that much coming out the back. Um, which is super exciting. Uh, blue flame, I think it means it's got a lot more oxygen in it, so we're burning more efficiently um, and hotter. Our uh, pressure feed system to the engine runs just on this uh, compressed air. Um, we have no electric pumps. The compressed air comes in and splits. This half here goes straight into the atomizer. That's the air that feeds the engine. Um, and this other half, you can see it comes around to the top of the bottle. This is filled with the kerosene um, and it comes out the bottom. The air will push the kerosene down through into the atomizer. Um, so really we have the single air source that goes straight in and presses the kerosene into it. Um, and that same pressure source uh, feeds both propellants right here into the atomizer and then of course into the chamber. These are all printed out of PLA. Uh, you can see the inside texture is kind of like a bubbly surface. It looks like it's wet, um, but those aren't actually droplets of liquid. That's just the, uh, the what the walls of the chamber look like now. So we'll have to do a lot more brainstorming to really figure out what's going on. But right now, uh, we think a smaller nozzle and a longer chamber will be our next step. We might even add a port in the side like this. Um, here is one that we are playing around with uh, pressure takeoff. So we could hook up, hook up a gauge to the side and just see what our chamber pressure is. 